Hi everyone, I'm Nathan with theebookreader.com. I'm going to give you guys a comparison between the Nook tablet and the Nook Color today. So obviously they look almost identical. They have the same size, the same dimensions. Um, the Nook tablet is noticeably lighter than the Nook co uh, Color when you have it in hand, so that's definitely an advantage. Um, the outside, we got a different color here. So this is sort of dark and it's smooth. This one, it's got this uh, coating on it that's a little more, uh, little more uh, grip to it. Uh, so as far as the screen goes, um, their screens are very similar, but the, you can tell some difference in person with the Nook uh, tablet screen. Uh, for starters, the Nook color has a separator right here where it separates from the screen and the bottom part. On the Nook tablet, it's all solid right here. And then the uh, actual screen looks a little bit different. Uh, the color is different than it is on the Nook color. Um, the most noticeable spot is when you load a book like this. So I don't know how it's going to show up on the uh, camera with the light here and everything. Um, but the background color is a lot different color than it is on, on the Nook tablet than it is on the Nook color. So that's the main difference you're going to notice um, with the screen. Uh, the colors seem pretty comparable really. I mean like the brightness of the colors and the actual saturation. But when we got the background color here you can definitely tell the difference. It's uh, darker on this one, lighter on this one. Uh, I found it it's kind of more comparable to the um, sepia color on the Nook color. They're still not exactly the same color, but that is the main difference. And the um, the screen, it just doesn't seem to be as irradiating. It doesn't seem to, like, the light doesn't seem to emit as uh, brightly as far out as it does with the Nook color. So they have done some things with the screen. and I do think it's a little bit improved, I would say. I kind of like how it is. Um, so let me go ahead and show you some of the ebook features. When it comes to the ebooks, I mean, these two devices are identical. So this is the Nook color with the latest firmware update, version 1.4. So we've got all the new features on here as well. Um, I mean, the e-reading aspects of these two devices are literally identical. You're not going to find any difference whatsoever. I mean, even the, the page speed is the same pretty much. Um, so the Nook tablet has got the faster processor um, and more memory. So the faster processor does aid in the speed of the device. Um, but when it comes to the e-reading aspects, it's, you're not really going to notice it. It's pretty much just um, when the tablet aspects that you're going to notice the speed difference the most as far as this goes. I mean, you can see it pops it up a split second faster, but as far as everything goes, I mean, it's mostly the same. you got all the same exact font sizes, the same exact font types. So as far as that goes, everything is exactly the same as far as the e-reading aspects go. Okay, so one major difference with the Nook tablet is it has a... Um, it, it has a locked bootloader, so you can run custom ROMs on the Nook color. Um, that might not happen with the Nook or might or the Nook tablet might take a while. So, but one of the cool loopholes with the Nook tablet is you can install um, Android apps from other sources. There's this loophole that you can install apps. So I got this other launcher set up down here um, with my Android launcher and the other apps. I've got like the Amazon App Store in here. Um, so you can do that with the Nook tablet, but you can't do that on the Nook Touch. I just tried that. Uh, with a new update and they have actually blocked the hidden menu that you get with the Nook tablet. So I'm kind of wondering if they're going to close off the Nook tablet from doing this as well. As you can see I have it set up so that it goes to my Nook tablet home screen instead of the actual Barnes & Noble home screen and there's this little icon right here I can go to my no Barnes & Noble home screen. So I got a tutorial on my website if you want to learn how to do that. Um, but right now I'm just going to focus on comparing these two guys. So as you can see like when you scroll right here there's just a little bit of jitteriness with the Nook color. And then with the Nook tablet, it's like super smooth all the time with that uh, dual core giga 1 gigahertz processor. And the Nook tablet has that single core 800 uh, megahertz uh, processor. So one of the other differences, we've got Netflix on both of these guys. Um, we don't get Hulu Plus. You don't get Hulu on the um, Nook Color for whatever reason. Probably because Flash doesn't run super smooth on it. Like you can play Flash, but it's a little jittery um, on the um, Nook Color. It's a lot smoother on the Nook tablet. Everything's a lot smoother as far as loading goes. So on the Nook tablet, we've got some different uh, subtle differences here. We've got these little icons down here. You can read your books and read your uh, latest read books. And it shows your options for movies and stuff like this. Um, so you don't have that little guy down here. But you have the, you hit the end button, you get the same options. So you have the same app library, sort of. The um, difference is just slightly with the icons. It's just, you can see some of the icons are slightly different. But everything is pretty much exactly the same. You've got the kids section, you've got the newspaper section. You got your different sections in the libraries, but as you can see, uh, everything's pretty much exactly the same. So when you go to the web browser, the um, Nook tablet's obviously going to be faster and smoother, but they have the same web browser, so there's not like any additional features.
Let's go ahead and load up the same page here. See, the Nook tablet is definitely faster. But the Nook Color with the latest update, it's definitely, uh, it's got some speed improvements too. As far as like pinch zooming, it's going to be smoother on the Nook tablet. See, it's kind of jittery at times on the Nook Color. We've got a busy page here with a lot of stuff going on. So it's definitely smoother on the Nook tablet here. a little bit of a lag with the Nook color. So yeah, that's pretty much the main difference between these two guys is the speed because of the processor and then the Nook tablet has the added uh, memory. You've got more memory with the Nook tablet and it also has a microphone up here. So uh, that is one difference. you got a microphone on the Nook tablet and the Nook color does not have any kind of microphone. See, as you can see, scrolling is a lot smoother on the tablet. A little jittery on the Nook color here. Okay, so some of the other features here, let's go ahead and like I said, everything's the same. So if we go to the shop, we have the same sort of layout. Obviously the Nook tablet, like I keep saying, is just a little bit faster in all regards. Um, it also has another advantage in battery life. So the Nook tablet has increased battery life. The Nook color is like 78 hours, uh, more like 7 and the Nook tablet's like 9 to 11 hours, so we've got some improved battery life on the Nook tablet as well. I think the screen, what they did changing with the screen kind of helped with that. So like I said, the main difference, uh, in the Nook tablet, you can install this other Android market right here, so you can have your Android apps right on here. With the Nook tablet, you have to, or the Nook Color, you install ROMs, or you can rewrite the memory. So let me show you how that works really quick. Okay, so this is one difference with the Nook Color and Nook Tablet. So the Nook Tablet, you can get to your Android goodness if you have the side loaded apps installed. Just uh, you, normally you can install Button Savior, or you can do what I did with the, or you can hit Search, or you can do what I did and install the Home Catcher, so you get directed to here automatically. So you can access your uh, installed apps from here, your side loaded apps, just by hitting that button and directing over to here. So with the Nook Color, it's different. You can't access your apps without actually either installing a ROM or rewriting your card. So I got the rebooted the Nook, I had the uh, card in there. So that uh, goes ahead and loads up CM7 now. So we've got all the Android goodness on the Nook color. So let's go ahead and change the... Put the same background on here. This is another difference. Live wallpapers on the Nook will work, but that is one thing I never want to run on the Nook color because it lags things down quite a bit. So you can see the scrolling, it's a lot more jittery um, just because the speed of the Nook isn't, uh, Nook color isn't nearly what it is on the Nook tablet. So the live wallpapers definitely slow stuff down, whereas on the Nook tablet it's just as smooth as can be. But that is one of the advantages of the Nook colors. You got the uh, CM7 ROMs, you can actually use Bluetooth because it enables the Bluetooth. Um, so there are some advantages still with the Nook over the um, Nook tablet in that regard. You can actually, this already has the Android market set up where you actually have to do extra steps to set up the Android market on the Nook tablet. So it just sort of depends on uh, what you need. Uh, the speed is the main difference between these two guys, like I keep saying over and over again. Um, the video playback is going to be better on the Nook, you got better speed. Um, so all that kind of stuff. The tablet features are better obviously on the Nook tablet than they are on the Nook Color, but they're still pretty good on the Nook Color. Um, I mean, it's still a pretty functional device. The main thing is like some of the 3D games, the higher end games aren't going to uh, be very smooth, uh, as whereas the Nook tablet, I mean, it's smooth enough to pretty much play any uh, 3D game you can find. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this review here because I pretty much showed you everything. Uh, like I said, the main difference is the speed and the memory, and you've got the microphone with the Nook tablet. Um, so uh, the Nook Color is still a good device. I mean, you can get this thing for like right now it's $129 refurbished. Uh, you can create your own CM7 card or you can buy one of these cards for like 35 bucks. So uh, it does have its advantages with the um, Android development, uh, whereas the Nook uh, tablet is sort of uh, hampered with the uh, signed bootloader, so it might not have as much goodies to come as the Nook Color does. Um, so I'm going to wrap up this review. Thank you for watching. Uh, please share it if you found the review helpful.